Hello everybody and welcome to my stream. It's Mon PJC here and I've got some exciting times ahead here because I've just upgraded my server here to 1.14 and this is going to be a bit of exploring going and seeing exactly what's going on out there and oh because I have no idea what we're actually going to get. So let's get into this then and go and explore some new things. I did go on here with my camera account and do a little bit of an update on some of the things I've been doing. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to kill my music. There we go. Because I just don't want any music on tonight. It's been a what a nice bit of peace and quiet. There we go. So this area that I'm in here is an area myself and Halo Phoenix have been working and doing lots of mining and digging and collecting resources and stuff. And as you can see, we've collected quite a lot of stuff in there. Very pleased with that little output. Uh, mainly all done by Halo, I have to say. She's... Um, bit of a diva when it comes to the old mining stuff she collects loads of stuff so I never really have much problem there um, got some stone um, yeah these shulker boxes are just full of bits of junk and stuff and <clears throat> the noises I can hear around me I don't think I'm that far away from where all those droppers are with the water and it's something a bit amiss with the noises I'm just trying to work out which way is out I think it's this way I think it nope is it out here or is this one of the top no, this looks like it this is definitely one of the ways out yeah and I can hear the zombie spawner going over there There's lots of death going on over there. Let's go check this out. See if this bad boy is actually working. Because we've been in this area quite a bit. I can hear them all running around up there. They don't all die straight away. There goes the water. There's a lot of double clicking. Oh my word, they're noisy. Oh, see the feet. Peace and quiet. Uh, oh, there's at least one zombie up there. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's been doing pretty well, actually. So there'll be quite a few of them up there. Let's go around and have a look, see what's going on. The splash is only the good bit. Cause lot coming down over there by the sounds of it. Oh my word. Look at that lot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going down here. It's safer. Wow. That mob spawner is producing a lot of mobs and a spider. Just can get him through the gap. Shot. Let's have a look, see what's falling in the box here. Wow, they are really noisy. We have to get out of this area. Oh, we can see the counts going up. Oh, that's fantastic. That's going really well. Right, let's get out of here and go and do a bit more exploring around this world and have a look at the changes that have actually happened since I've updated this to 1.14. So everything looks fairly much the same so far. That um, that spawn is really noisy, I know that. This, everything here should still be working exactly the same as it was. All my resources seem to be okay. I'm not worried about any of this, so we're just gonna go climbing up here. Now one of the exciting things is that we can get rid of, so many of these torches can go now. We can we can just use um, lamp lanterns 
Now, how do, I don't even know how to make a lantern. How, how do I go about doing that? Is it a is it a lamp? No. Lantern? La lan oh, I don't even know how to make one. I'm I'm such an expert at this game. Uh, no, I have no idea. Okay, we're gonna have to go exploring for that stuff. Right, let's get back up to the base and have a look up here. See what we got going on. Bit of a chunter up here. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Should have brought the train. You can hear those um, dispensers clicking from quite a while off. So one of the things I'm going to be trying to do is uh, getting the replay mod to work with the server. Actually, I should have gone down the other way. Let's go. Let's go through the chest room there. Because down here, this is where the all the mine carts come up with their stuff. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think that's part of the normal texture pack. Hmm, I think that's a little bit broken. Uh, da -da. Everything else here looks okay. Yeah, it's definitely the sides of those repeaters are not right. Uh, don't have any on me. Are there any in the box here? No. Nope. Might have to have a look. Ah, and all my um, trapdoors have changed as well. These are not how I left them. It, uh, climb up here. Yeah, they got the arrows on. So I haven't got my chest, my trapdoors like I used to. Um, that could be because my resource packs are loaded in the wrong order. Let's have a look because they've been. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I want. Do I want that one at the top? I think I do because this is the one that brings. Oh, Minecraft is just reloading screen oh I didn't expect that and no that made no effect at all okay that's definitely something wrong with them so I'm gonna to have to investigate that find out what's wrong with them all this appears to be okay though yeah no lighting glitches anything like that that's how they should look What's happened? Why have all the trapdoors changed? That's weird. They're different ones. Okay. Right. Lamps. I want to go upstairs and uh, get to my crafting bench and have a look, see how we can make these um, lanterns because they are going to look awesome in the world. See, we didn't get rid of some of these lights and stuff in here. and actually have proper lanterns. Let's go in here and have a look. Let's see what we can find. So I know I I believe you make them with iron. What's in my ender chest here? Um, oh, actually, in this one, I think I've got some iron. Let's have a look. Let's take the iron out. Check your recipe book. New things unlocked. Ah, that's better. Uh, don't see any lamps in there. Do you have to make them in something like glowstone or something? How do we do this? Let's have a look. Uh, is there anything there? We want something that looks like a little lamp. Nope. Nope. Nothing in there. What about if I search for it now? Is it because it wasn't unlocked? Ah, there we go. Lantern. Ah, it's a torch and nuggets. Aha, right, okay, we can do that. So, let's get... Um, oh, let's just put all of them in. Let's get a big stack of them. Oh, look, we can make lanterns. How can we? How, how many can we make? Can I shift click? Nine. Really? That's all I can make? Nine of them. Okay, let's have a look, see what this looks like. How do I... Oh, I can't click it on a wall. Okay, does it only hang from the ceiling? Aha! The heck is that noise? I have no idea what that... That's not... That's not bad, actually. Yeah, quite like that. Yeah, yep, like that, like that. 
drops, doesn't break. That's cool. Right, um, maybe I should go and put some, because this is the main car. I've only got nine at the moment. I could obviously make a lot more than this. I think we definitely need some upgrades around here. Should we have them under the doors there like that? And we'll get rid of these things. There we go. Okay, I have less entities hanging around the door. Uh, let's close the door. What's that look like? Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty snazzy. Got some more here. Um, yep, we could definitely... Do they hang on the sides of posts? No. So they only hang under things. Do they go, do they go on the ground? Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, they make that little tinny noise when you break them. That's cool. So they go on the ground, and they, it's a shame they're not a slightly different colour. Because that would be very cool. If they were a different colour. So I'm going to go over here. Because there's an entrance way here. As, there's an entrance here as well. Should we, I'm just going to spam some of these around for now, just to make the place look a bit more fancy. Just till I can sort of like go to town and make a load more of these. Because you see, we just got these these like naff torches hanging here. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? So can we get like one there and one there? That that looks awesome. Why can I hear skeletons? And collect the torches because the torches obviously can be reused. For the lanterns. Ah, oh, that's cool. I've waited so long for these. They're really good. Now we've got the pub down here. The pub. Oh yeah, we've got new villagers. Now I did come in here with my camera account and have a little bit of a tweak. Just to get some of these guys going. Oh, we've got a putty cat. Oh, putty cat doesn't like me. Uh, so we have a farmer. Do you do you have a job? I don't think you used to. Seriously, guys, get out, get out from behind the fence. Come on, out. Out you go. I tell you what, there's been a nightmare with these fences here. So I put a composter over here because I thought that'd be really cool. Addition. Hello. I got. Yeah, I'm. I'm being friendly. That's it, just to walk into me. That's fine. You, what are you doing on the table? What are you doing on the table? That's not a good look. And I put a bell up there because I wanted this to be a, like a meeting place area. So let's go in the pub and or the tavern. Oh, we can put, oh yeah, that'd be cool. So we can just like hang a lamp there like that. That looks really good. Actually, I might put one there and one there, and I will take this one. Thanks. Dink. It's a little bit more difficult to have plates because you can't like put them on the wall. That makes it a little bit more interesting. You can't just like put them wherever you feel like it. Uh, we don't need that torch. I don't think I need that one there. Oh, that one there now, to be honest. It's an interesting way of doing things. Uh, where else would you put? Oh, it's really going to make me rethink this. That's quite a bit different. So we've got that one there. So if I take that one off there, I can't just... I can't put it on the floor. I can put it... Oh, I could do that. That would work. Yeah. That would work. So I have more beams and stuff where to put the lights. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's have a look. Mm. Yep, that's all pretty good. Right, now, I want to check out some of these new things that the farmers have got. So, what do you do? What do you do? What do you, you're a farmer. Huh. And you trade potatoes and carrots for emeralds. But nothing, and you're a novice. 
You are. Okay. What's this thing do? That doesn't do anything. Okay. Are you actually farming? That's the question. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, you? Do you? Yeah, see, now they don't do anything at all. Unless they've got a real profession. And I put a load of beds in for them. Because they're supposed to sleep. Oh, yeah, they're supposed to. Look, he's got like a silver badge on the front of his little outfit. Can, can you stand, come here and stand still? Look, just there, there. So when he's better, he'll be good. What did you want? Carrots and potatoes. I haven't got any of them. Really? So what's in these ones? Because I, I put. So I put a lectern in here. And I can't do anything with that yet, either. Oh, that's got a weird hitbox. Look at that. That's interesting. And then down here... Where's the guy that goes with that? I like the sound of the cats. Now, down here, I put a loom. And you can, like, do stuff with this as well. And I have no idea what. So we're definitely going to have to do some investigating as to what goes on around here. Oh, there's different people. What are these guys? Are these all? Why are you shaking your head? You're, you're in green, though. Oh, okay. You? No. Where'd that other guy go with the funny hat? Hang on, there's more than one farmer. There he is. There's more than one farmer. I'm just going to get... You have wheat. Ah, oh, I've got loads of wheat somewhere. Could upgrade him. And you're the potato man. What about you? You're a librarian. All right, so you take paper and stuff. Okay. How have I got two farmers? I thought they had to, like, have a composter per thing. I thought that was the thing. Right. Composter. I want to know how to make another composter. Compa. Why is that? Hang on. Let's show things I can't make. Comp. It's a bit difficult when you've already started that. Uh, why is stuff not showing up? I can't single click it. Hmm. It is a comp. Is it a composter? You don't tell me, do you? Um. I don't know what it's called. It's not in the list. It's because all my like stuff's updated. Oh, that's not very helpful. Is it? I thought it was made out of wood or something. Are you going to make me Google this? Really? I can't believe I'm having to do this. Now having to Google how to make a composter. Ah. <sighs> Let's start with the word Minecraft because um, otherwise it's very difficult to find anything on here. Uh, Composter. Official wiki page. Obtaining would be nice. Um, crafting. All oh, right. So, any wooden slabs? Right. What we got? Uh, I got two. That's not very good. And fed, uh, we got a wood shop. Where's the wood shop? So in here, and there's no no one works here yet. So, ah, oh, let's take a load of them. And can I now? See, it's not coming up with the option. That didn't do anything. Composter, any wood. Any wood slabs, says in my on the wiki. What's wrong with that then? Well, that's pants. Some of my trading things are not working either. Um, so the other option is free of blocks along the bottom and some fences. Okay, let's make uh, some fences. Let's make six fences. 
Put them along there like that. Aha! And I have a composter. Can I now make a composter with these? No, but oh, I can make a barrel. Aww. Is there something wrong on the wiki then about that? Oh no, I see, you do it that way. And a barrel. Oh. Can I make, I'm gonna make a couple of barrels. Do they stack? Oh yeah, they do. That's cool. Right, let's go put this composter down. Because there is another farmer over here. And if I like, someone's been making a mess in the soil. If I put that one there, like that, maybe these guys will come over and work it. There we go. Right, let's just till this bit of soil. There we go. Is anyone going to plant in that? Hmm. Okay. Right, what's the other thing? The barrel. I can put barrels in the pub. Because that's that's where you'd have barrels, isn't it? You'd, you'd have them in somewhere like this. For like loads of drinking and stuff. What's in there? Load of junk. Um, um, running out of room. Oh, actually, I know what to do. What we do is we'll knock this out. Like that. And we'll put one of them there and one there like that. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. That's much better storage system. That is way better. And that actually looks much more realistic in here as well. Can you actually put item frames on the outside of these as well? Let's have a look. So if I shift click. Oh, you can. Very nice. So I can actually put on them what's in it. I like the sounds of those. That's cool. That's cool. I really like that. That's awesome. Uh, what's, what's that in there? Is that another cat? Ah! My god, the cats are skittish around here. There's a random villager stuck in sight. You do know you can open the gate and get out. There we go. I'm not calling you stupid or anything, but yeah, well, apparently you are. Okay. So, look. Oh, who's this guy? Is this Mr. Loom guy? The shepherd. Aha. Uh -huh. So, shears and black. Oh, you like black wool. I've got a load of black sheep. I have. I've got a load of black sheep. I'm going to go and get black, uh, black sheep. Black sheep. I haven't seen my hood. Bye. I'm going to see my um, horse or anything around here. I don't know where they are. The cats go nuts around here. Right. That's pretty good. That's cool. I'm liking this so far. Does another farmer do... Wow, you wandered off a long way, didn't you? I can't interact with you. Right, let's go have a look. Is my horse still out the back here? This is a barn I've been building, which is a, you know, a bit far from completion. Ah, there is my horse. There we go. I updated the, uh, the the entrance way here a bit, make it look a bit more nicer as well. I thought that looks quite good. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. This is looking good. My world's struggling a little bit to load in. But then it's the first time I've loaded some of this stuff. Now down here we have another little village area. So I'll just uh, hop off here. And I put another composter here. I guess you have to put stuff in it to make it do stuff. There's loads of wheat here. Actually what I might do is I might just... One of those guys wanted wheat, didn't he? I'm going to nick a load of this. I might be able to get some trades with the guys then. Is that it? Oh no, there's the rest. I wondered where my seeds went then. OK. 
Okay, right. Um, let's go have a look round, see what's going on. Another iron golem over there. There's this guy. What's this guy? Yep, coming for you in a minute, sheep. You look like a welder. Oh, you've got a, 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 a thingy. What's it? Come, come here. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. You're, you're one of those glitchy, can't load your things. Oh, that's pants, because you've already been traded with, isn't it? Yeah. There's this glitch that if they've already been traded, they can't they can't work with you again. Like, like this one. Oh, man. I wonder if there's a way of fixing them. Right, so we've got loads of sheep. There's an iron golem over here. They obviously like... Who's that guy? What's this guy? Aha! Shepherd. He likes black wool. And you, you're another can't trade with you farmer you are a cartographer I can't trade with oh that's pants you don't work my horse is wandering I put another bell over here for this village oh man oh that's a shame actually I've got a villager down here I trapped because he's got a mending does that mean he's not going to work now? I suppose it's not horrendous. Oh, no. No, he seems to... Look at that. One book and 28 emeralds for one. Mending book. He's got quite a few things in there. Silk touch. I quite like that. Emerald, compass, bookshelves. Sell glass. Hmm. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I'm glad. I'm glad you're still alive. Because I, I put a, a a lectern -y thing in there, but I don't know quite how it works just yet. So um, there was a guy out here that likes wool. Have I got shears? I do have shears. There we go. Let's go try that out. <laughs> Where's my horse going? My horse is wandering off. Uh, I'm just going to jump the fence. I think these are black. This is black wall. Or is this dark grey? It's funny how he wants to trade this stuff. Ah, oh, it's grey wall. Grey. Grey wall of all things. Not black. You don't. You don't. Oh, no wonder you want black wool. Your sheep are inferior. It's not good, is it? Right. Black sheep mission then. Right. Uh, we got some wheat. There was another. There was a guy up the top there, like wheat. Where's my horse? Is down there. Can I ring this bell? Does that does that work? What can you hit it with? What happens when you do that? Do they all? Do they actually all go in a house? They do. That's pretty good. It's like, get in our house, you idiots. Oh, what's he? Oh, I can't trade with him either. Weaponsmith. Oh, man. I'm going to have to replace a load of you. You look cool. Cartographer. Oh, okay. Right, let's get my horse. And I'm going to head back. 
Is he the really cool guy? Yeah, he's he's got diamond. Look, he's like he's one of my really good people that I've had, and now he won't breed. Oh, that's pants. Okay. Right. Look, there's another cat. Okay. There's a lot of them around. It would appear. do some farmers over there that do the do the seeds and stuff okay so far so good everything seems all right there's a few things I've still got to work out how they work but that's okay um, I need to sort myself out a black sheep don't I and get some black sheep trading going on but first we can probably get away with doing something with this everything seems to be running all right so far I'll put my horse in the back here, less likely to wander off. Okay. I had a donkey somewhere. I don't know where that went. It's a bit of an important position, that is. I'll lose my donkey. Right, so let's go down here, see if we can find that farmer and if he likes what I've got in the way of wheat. Let's start trading with these guys. There's quite a few cats around. Right, this guy here. Where's he going? Will you trade with me? Oh no, you're you're Mr. Potato Man, right? Okay, no, not interested in you. Where's your mate? Where's your other friend? Is that him over there? That could be. Let's go check him out. I'm not quite sure why he's wandered all the way up here. Oh no, you're one of them that I can't trade with. wonder what I do about that. Hmm. I'm going to have to find a way of fix... Uh, well, they must... I'm sure I saw a bug somewhere about them not trading once they've been upgraded from another world uh, previously. But it doesn't tell you... Ah, you. Aha! Right, so if I give you that, aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's cool. So his skill level goes up a little bit when you give him an emerald. That's very nice. What about you? I've got to give you six emeralds to make you skill up. Okay. I need to work out what all the different um, villages are, I guess, that I can actually have in the game on what skills and things they need. I've got a ton of junk on me here. Why do you all have to climb on stuff? Stop doing it. It's very unprofessional. Right, okay. What else can we go and explore? Oh yeah, this stuff. Um, so can I actually do something with this composter? I can, yeah, but if I jump on there. Yep, I can put stuff in the composter. Where's them seeds? Will they go in it? Oh, it's gone white. And I have a piece of bone meal. Wow. I mean, that that's... That's quite epic, really. It's going to be useful for making bone meal stuff. That could be very useful. So... I guess now, what? The, where is those zombies? There shouldn't be any around here. Um, let's have a look. So, I guess what I should do now is actually look at doing a bit of a project. Now all these guys are in place, some of the things I want to do are like campfires and making fireplaces so they look more realistic in the world. Now, does this... Is this thing going to tell me how to make a campfire, or am I going to have to Google it again? No. It's because I've already started doing stuff in the world, making things, and it's like, eh, not going to tell you. Uh, so back on the thing here, camp, campfire. Let's have a look. How do we make a campfire? Click on obtaining. 
Apparently it sticks coal and wood. Mm, okay. They have sticks. They have no coal. Do we have any coal around here somewhere? I might have some... Oh, I left my backpack behind, didn't I? That was silly. Um, let's have a look. Out of way, putty cat. Right, let's get rid of this, some of this wood stuff that's in here that we don't need anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do with that wall. Just going to dump that in there with that for now. And those seeds. I've got a spare emerald. Okay, right. Um... Someone must have a furnace. Is the furnaces in here got any? Oh, just jump on the table. Ah, yeah. Bit of charcoal. Bit of charcoal and sticks. Um, anyone got a crafting table in here? No. Really? Okie dokie. Let's put that on there. It doesn't show one. Can it only be made with coal? No, I didn't like that. Maybe I have actually got to use three blocks of wood along the bottom. So three planks of wood. A villager that's just climbed over me in the background there. And that's charcoal. It's still not... We need a single piece of coal. You want more trading? You look scary. Okay. Uh, you shut the door on me. Rude. Coal. Um. Coal. 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 I don't know where I've got any coal. I have to go all the way up to my base to have a look. And I left my um. Left my backpack behind, so I might as well go back up here anyway. Any in there? No. Let's go this way. I need to get rid of that floating block. I actually put it up there so that I, I want to make a balloon floats up there. That should be good fun. Let's have a look at these lanterns. Yeah, they look they look much more they're much more aesthetic aesthetically pleasing. I'm going to have to have them. That's going to be odd when you get two wide walls. There is my backpack. Which only has charcoal in it. Seriously? Anyone? Coal? Anyone would think I, I don't... I can't afford coal on this game. There's seriously none anywhere. Let's go downstairs. There'll probably be some down there somewhere. It's terrible. Anyone would think I I know how to play Minecraft. Where's my coal? How can you not have coal? That's just ridiculous. Uh, there's none going to be in there. There should be some driving these furnaces. There we go. Right, you still don't know how to make a campfire, apparently. Why does that not make a campfire? What am I doing wrong? Logs, any wood or stripped wood. Well, that's weird. Why can't I make a campfire? It's some sort of like achievement or something that's locked, isn't it? And it's just not letting me find it. Guess all my like achievement things are all messed up. What's that? A smithing table. How do you make one of them? Wooden iron. Okay, we'll have to make one of them. Iron ingots. 
a smithing table. We'll go back and do that one. Uh, at the, it's just the brewing stand. Campfire. Okay, well these are logs. Wood. So what's wrong with them? That's weird. Oak logs, spruce wood, jungle wood, stripped acacia log, wood log, logs. See, these are planks. I guess that's the difference. Um, do I have any planks? I've only got planks around here. Could take the coal with me and the sticks. I could go back all the way back upstairs again now. Um, okay. More complicated than I thought. Why do you get the sounds of mine carts when there aren't actually any mine carts rolling past? I never understood that. That's a bit weird. So I should have some planks. I must have some planks in here. Oak logs. There we go. Where's this campfire thing? It should be an achievable one now. There we go. We have a campfire. Yay! Uh, right, so if I put that there like that. It makes smoke particles. Oh, it spits fire everywhere. Do I burn on it? Ah, ah! Um, yeah, okay, I do. Oh, so when I break it, I don't get my logs back. That's poop. Right. Um, take a load of them with us then. And we'll make somewhere we'll make it wherever we need it I guess is the key thing right so what I wanted to do is we've got the the pub in brewers thing and it would be really cool if that actually had smoke coming out the chimney like people live there so let's go check that out because what you want to be able to do is come around here and actually be able to see smoke coming up from chimneys in the houses now I know that you can put a straw bale underneath a campfire to make the smoke go up higher and then you put you can get away with one block on top of it so this is my chimney on the side here. So I'm going to have to redesign my chimney here a bit. What I'm thinking is if I put the campfire up in the roof space and then have the smoke go up around the chimney. Excuse me. Um, you. Yeah, you. Just out the way. I'm trying to do a video here and you're, it's in my way. Go, at, go and get a job. Right, uh, be a bar bartender. Oh, your shop's empty, is it? Oh, okay, fine. Sort that out later. Uh, right, so how are we going to do this? Oh, yeah, scaffolding blocks in this game as well, isn't there? And bamboo and things. So I've got to get up on the roof and have a go at fixing this thing. What have I got? Um, I've just got some logs. I'll do for now. So let's hop up here what you might call the hard way of doing this and 
If I build it in here, can I do that? Oh, should I should build it in this bit. I could do actually. I could build the campfire in here, and then I can get away with a block on top of it, and it won't look quite so weird. So let's have a go at moving this chimney. I think, can I land on this? I can. That's cool. So that comes up the outside there. And we'll take this out of there. And what we might do is not quite sure how to make that look better. Um, I got myself up here now. I can't get back down. Right, let's go here. Where's my cat? Firstly, you haven't got a campfire. And we need a campfire to be able to make anything. So I'm going to stick that in there for there now. Uh, let's put that back. One campfire coming up. Thank you very much. So, campfire. Uh, see, I want to put a block above it. So what's this? Is this... Oh yeah, that's somebody's roof. So I can't put that there. So the campfire would have to go in this block. Okay, that makes that sort of makes sense. I think I can actually make that float there. There we go. I've actually got smoke going up. Actually, this looks like a chimney here. I've got a silk. I've got a silk touch pick. Right. Let's see if we can pick this up again. Thank you very much. So let's go, let's just take the roof out and have a look what we've got. Is that where, it's in there. Can I get away with taking that block out? I could do, could be a way of doing this. So if I put, hmm. I want a cobblestone block, really. I can always bring one up, I guess. Or I could do... Um, what about if I do that? Because that's got a thing hanging over the edge. So I'm just going to do that for now. It's probably not perfect, but it will give the sort of effect what I'm after. Down there. Does my smoke go through the chimney? Sort of. Doesn't want to go through the second block. Okay. So does that mean I've got to take that one out? There we go. Now I have smoke coming out the top. That's not too bad. That's all right. My house doesn't appear to be about to burn down either. Uh, let's put these in here again. Like that. Let's get these and we can seal up the roof a bit. Like so, and then we've got a gap here where the chimney was. That's gonna I might just put that chimney back like that. It can be like a separate chimney, and this can just be another one that we've got there, like that. I think that'll do for now. How's that look? 
That's cool. Yeah, I like that. So we got a little, just a little bit of smoke. Coming out the top there. We can't actually see in there. It's the only problem. Uh, so we need to... We need to pillar up here. I think this will let me do it. I've got to do a bit of weird jumping and cl climbing. And if I take out that one like that, and I might just put it in the other way round like so that do not a perfect solution but it does mean that you can't see the fire and it's got like that little edge there. it's subtle enough that no one will notice well apart from you if you've been watching this that's cool, so we've got a bit of a chimney going on now. I mean, it's it's not massive smoke, but it's enough, it's subtle. It just shows that there's something going on. Are you looking at the fire now? Can't see it from there. Oh, that's fantastic. That just makes it look so much more realistic in the game. You've actually got just a little bit of smoke going on. That's really nice. Really? Are you really standing in my face? Right, let's have a look. That's really good. So we can do we can do quite a bit of upgrading now. We've got new lamps that we can make. We've got smoke that we can get coming out the chimneys I like that yeah yeah that, that that's 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 pretty cool that's pretty damn cool now these villages are like wandering off off all over the place um why is an iron golem on the roof have you seriously climbed on my roof Oh my god. Okay, I am Gollum Boogie. Are you alright there, dude? Okay, just walk away. Pretend nothing happened. So, so this, there, I've got so much to do now in this area. There's going to be loads of different work to do. I really like that. It's going to look really cool. I want to go and see that, see what sort of distance I can see that from. If I can see that from like outside or up in the castle here, I think that still gives me the render distance. The server render distance has been up to about 25 chunks. That's what I wanted anyway. I don't know what oh, my current game is playing. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Look at that. So you just got that little little puffs of smoke coming out the top. It's really a shame it doesn't go through two blocks. Because that would be this would be an awesome way of adding smoke and a much more realistic element to the game. Having smoke particles like that. That's really quite cool. We can do a lot with this. And I'd also like it if lamps gave off like a different colour as well. Because I think they would look really good if we get that sort of different sense of colour or glow from them. But I know that's um, probably not something we're going to get in the game for a while. I've got a ton of junk in my inventory here. I really need to go and tidy all this up. And something I wanted to do, which I'm wondering about now. Actually, let's have a look at my... Um, render distances here to start with 25 we've got on here so we should be able to see way more than we've got here 
we should be able to see out to where the other castle is and down into the village and the fog and everything and we're not seeing that at all so let's have a look and see if we can do something about that so i'm going to open up my my connection to my server just to have a look to see what we can do which means that while i'm doing this i can't see anything on the screen so we're just going to do that let's just have a look yep i can still see my video screen output in over there let's just drop that screen down size a bit once i get my new computer i'll have more monitors and then we can see what we're doing okay so if i log in onto my server and somewhere in here where have we got it so i was surprised actually that it actually had gone back down the um the settings for this because i had actually changed it so let's go into here and have a look yeah the view distance in here has only been set to 10 uh, 6 that's quite low so let's save that that's not going to instantly change anything in my game though i'll have to do a relog on the server so i think i've got to do that through I go into one of my settings here there we go so I've got to go into my main server settings I'm going to my configuration files on here so we run spigot on this server so let's just have a look it's not in that file I thought there was a spigot uh, configuration file in here there it is and in here we've got our view distance so I do apologize you're just looking at a screen off into the distance right now but hopefully we're going to do a comparison in a minute and see how much difference there is uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. this is a very long file and in here somewhere it should say view distance which I cannot see I cannot see Scotty I know it's in here somewhere let's go back to the top configuration 12 da, 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 da. I'm scanning down achievements world settings no nothing in there radius is ticks hoppers jump settings spawning range no there's nothing in that file at all okay so are these the only ones with stuff in them so there's a spigot yml file and there's a servers properties file which is the main servers property file which I, don't, I think is normally overridden most of the time in here with the view distance yeah so the view distance in here is 20 so we're going to put that up to 25 and it's actually quite a lot and you wouldn't normally do that on your server but in this case because i'm making like videos and stuff i really want to be able to see what i actually get now what should happen is i hit that button and you will lose my screen because i am now just reloading the configuration file which means i've been kicked off the server so this will take a few seconds to reboot. It takes about eight seconds to reload the configuration files. Let's 
coming back up getting there <clears throat> I've got one warning on the boot up uh, everything else seems to be okay coming online now oh there we go took 11 seconds apparently right let's close that back to the server list and straight back in and hopefully we should be able to see a lot further now any second now Just thinking about it are you going to start loading more chunks Mm, it might do, might do. It's take, it's, yes, yes, it's happening. There are a lot of chunks to load. There we go, they're coming in. As you increase the radius of the amount of chunks you need to load, it's huge, the amount of extra traffic that your poor old server's got to hold. So let's have a look. How much memory am I using? I'm using about 60% on here. How many chunk updates are there? There's no more to come in. So that's apparently my render view distance, which is not bad. Yep, there we go. We can see that castle over there now. We can see down into there. This will all slowly load in a bit better. That's not bad. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, that that's acceptable. So, quite classically, I go down to the far end. I tend not to move that fast around in the world, so it's not too heavy on my game loading these things. What's my frames like? Uh, yeah, my frames have tanked quite a bit there. There's 150 chunk updates to come in there. Yeah, so that's sort of like killed my chunks quite a bit. But it's quite useful for videoing. And, I mean, let's be honest, I am also streaming at the same time here. So I can't be completely complacent. I've actually just turned that off. And that's actually improved my render, disk, my views as well. That's the sort of thing I want to be able to do. I want to be able to walk down here and look around and actually see the stuff off in the distance. Like that. That's much better. And the other stuff I want to be able to do as well is I want to get things like Optifine and the replay mod working together. I was having a little try earlier and getting some problems with that as well. So this is quite this is quite this is like the sort of view we want. We want to be able to look out there and just see the tree lines just very faintly lit up. We've got this village here. There's another village right over there in the distance. There we go, and it's just loading in on the horizon. And then as I skim around behind me, we can see the castle. And that's a really nice view, the way that's loaded in over there. So we've got a nice view of the castle. It's not something we go around and have a look at very much. It's still in build phase, keeping it a bit of a surprise. But yeah, that nice horizon with the, cloud, the buildings in the fog. That's really quite cool. Um, right, now. Uh, sheep. Sheep for one of the things I wanted to sort out. Um, yeah, so the one thing I want to do now to sort myself out is I want to... There's a load more wheat down here. We could go and get a load of this wheat and... Hmm. We could actually get, I wonder if we could get a farmer to come over there with a composter and work that. He could live in that little hut or something. It's probably nowhere near close enough. It's probably too far out. Yeah, I wonder somewhere around here where I'm actually going to build my own homestead type thing. But yeah, I think I'm going to try out this whole wheat breeding trading thing with this farmer and see what we get. I've got a load of stuff in my inventory I don't really need. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down and have a look, see what I'm actually carrying around with me. Is there anything valuable in here that I actually want? Uh, that can go in there. This is all for my railway stuff that I've been doing. I've really got a load of stuff I don't need. I could put that on. That would make a bit more space. Hello, Mr. Shulkerbox. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Uh, the game has come back to me. I've just got a load of... Yeah, it's just mainly junk in here. Right. Let's get ourselves a few stacks. Uh, let's just do a, a run down this way. And then we'll plant seeds on the way back. Find the odd broken patch. Do 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 do. stacks uh less than a stack really I expected to get a lot more than that obviously not as much wheat here as I thought there was Got some more down here I could pick up. There's still more there. Wow. God, if I could get a few farmers in here with composters, I'd certainly be getting a lot of wheat growing. thing I noticed was is that with the farmers is that they only do like um is it a 10 block radius around them which is a, a little bit on the limiting side I would have thought they would have been able to scan a much bigger area for doing farms do you want to make a big farm like this where you want to like it looking realistic then this is a lot of work to put in to to do that stuff, sort of thing. Down here I've just got some more seeds I've dropped somewhere. There we go. Just gonna finish planting these off. I don't mind it looking a little bit random. This is a bit of a mega field. And then we're going to go find that farmer and see if he'll trade anything with us. There we go. So what have we got? We've got nearly two stacks of wheat. Let's see if we can level this guy up. What on earth was that noise? There's some really weird noises in this game at times. I have no idea where they're coming from or what they are. 
Right, so over here, I have a farmer somewhere. And hopefully he's going to give me some cool stuff. Where is he? He's in here somewhere. In here with the iron golem. Right, look for a guy with a straw hat. There's one. I really don't know why they're all in the field. Right, you. Oh no, you're the one I can't trade with. Uh-oh. Okay. Right, so there's another farmer around here somewhere that I can trade with. Or was he back at... I think he was back over here, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He's all the way back up there. So let's go for a sprint across country. Back to the main city and find that villager. That will do the, the trades. Yeah, I don't know what to do with them villagers that won't trade with me. Because they've got this lock up on them. I'm have to, gonna have to, definitely going to have to Google it and find out how to fix that. Come on, little Minecraft character. Run faster. If only my world wasn't so big. Here we go. Right, where is that farmer? Is he down here? There's one of them down here. Is it Mr. Potato Man? Nope, it's not. Huh? Oh, yep, he's happy. He's giving me plenty of emeralds. I think, does that make him level up? Yep, his little, his little badge changed colour then. I'm not quite sure. You're now an apprentice farmer. And you will now trade pumpkins and emeralds for apples. So, oh, okay then. So if I now give you these emeralds, you'll give me apples. That's quite cool. So we've got you quite traded up quite a bit already. We have. And there's more wheat over here because you've not been picking it. So I'm going to do that. Oh, excuse me, trying to plant the seeds here. Because your little friends are not doing it. Um, right, is it you? Yeah. That made him happy. I don't have 24 apples. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. What do you do? You don't do anything. Oh, okay. Fine. Um, can I give this guy all my seeds? Does he want my seed? He doesn't want my seeds. Rude. I'll use him in here then. Okay, so once that stuff grows more, I can do more trades with him. Okay, yeah, you're right, okay. I understand this. Um, what else have we got? Mm, just a bit of experimenting in here, really. You're the apprentice. What I might do is I might be tempted to turn the day-night cycle on. You're a shepherd. Oh, you take emeralds. See, I could have tried upgrading you a bit. 
It's funny how you're here as a shepherd, but your sheep are like all the way over there. And you're not here. I don't know what you're bouncing up and down the table for. What you got to say for yourself? Nothing. Exactly. Okay, right. Should we turn the daytime cycle back on? This could be very destructive. Game rule. Do daylight cycle. True. Okay. We are now about to see what happens in this world when we turn this back on. And we have farmers working and anything like that. So I'm interested to see what actually happens without interfering. So I'm just going to stand over here, I think. On the fence, like the rest of them do. And observe. As the sun goes through the sky. This farmer is now pottering about. Is he going to do any work? Well, I guess he's not because the field's planted, isn't it? So he hasn't actually got any work to do. I guess that's the deal. He's wrecking his own crops, though. So if I go over there and fix his crops, what happens? He's gone to his work base thing there. You're trampling the soil. Why do you stand on your composter? That's a weird thing to do, because you're just killing your own crop. No, 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 no. Don't talk to me. I'm, I'm not here. Pretend I'm not here. You go back to work. Okay. So, during the day, he definitely goes to his composter. And he keeps breaking the soil. So I guess a tip will be is to put the composters somewhere where he can't break the soil. Should I do that now? He needs to be out pathfind to them, I guess. I could put them in the side of the road here. Um, like that. And if I grab that one. Put it there like that. I'm going to till your soil and see what happens. Do you replant it? Have got any earth? I haven't got any earth. Um, where can I get a block of earth from? Just to... Let's nick something from there. That'll do. Oops. This guy's come over. Right, let's till that ground. And go back over here and see what he does. Not you. No, you don't do any work. Go away. So let's have a look. Does it what does he do now? Does he actually pick his crops? Does he actually do that now? Nope, he's wandered off. So it's now midday. He's pottering around a bit. Just basically inspecting his field. He's gone to his composter. Riveting stuff he's doing here.
You're not doing much, are you? No. He spotted me. Or did he hear the cat? I don't know where that... Oh, what are you doing over here? Now, I don't want to try... Oh, for goodness sake. I didn't realise he was there watching me. I want him to go and join in in the, ga in the, uh, the farming bit as well. Maybe he'll do that now. Stand far enough away. His little friend is just pottering around, doesn't know what to do. It's gone past midday now. Where's the sun? Yep, sun's up there. I never realised the Minecraft day took so long when you actually sit here and wait for it. When you're playing it, it seems to just disappear by. And nothing happens at all. You've got a random villager walking around in your your, your plot. I really don't know what's going on. There's that guy. What's that guy doing up there? Now being watched. Who are you? What are you watching me for? I see you creeping up on me. Scary dude. What about you? What are you doing today? Are you going to pick that crop? You planted it. You've totally ignored it. Where's your buddy? Your buddy's over here. Look. In the pub, watching you. And you're just walking backwards and forwards like you don't know what to do. Are there any others around? No. Where's he gone? Well, he's gone to talk to his friend. That's nice. Oh, hey up. There's a bit of movement. They're all they're all like coming out. Oh, that's interesting. So this must be the talk time because the bell's there and they've all come over to where the bell is. So this must be gossip time. So when they all have a gossip and chat about different things. Oh no. Oh, they've, the cartographer's gone back to work. These guys are not doing anything, really. And it's now going to start to get dark in a minute. I'm interested to see if they go in there to bed. Those guys are not really doing anything. I think they've lost the plot. None others around here. They're definitely still having a bit of a chat here going on. I don't know why that guy... I wonder if that guy's stuck. <laughs> that guy just came out of one shop, went in the next one. He's obviously pottering around having a look. Where's he going? Nope. Is he going somewhere? He's not going somewhere. Mr. Cartographer Man's come back. Oh, they're sharing bread. Oh, they're friends. I don't think your friend wants the bread. He's trying to share bread with you. Oh, it's gone. Oh, 
Let's go up to bed. Oh, bless. He's having to sleep. Oh, who was that? Sorry. Oh, you've gone to bed as well. Bit weird. I'll just shut the doors for you all. What about you? Are you, gonna, are you guys going to go to bed? Is this guy stuck? Let's see if I can nudge him out. I think he's got himself stuck. There we go. Got himself stuck on a flower pot. Where are these guys going? Are they going to go to bed? Because it's like proper night time now, guys. This guy doesn't obviously think he has a bed. Does he need a bed in his house? Just going to take a spare bed, guys. And I'll bring it over here. I'm going to give it to this guy near his workstation. Does it need to be near his workstation? Is that a thing? It does. So his bed needs to be near his workstation for him to sleep. So has everyone gone to bed now? That's so cool. All well, the villagers have gone to bed. They, the, the, I think the weird thing is, is look, they sleep with their eyes open. Hello? Yeah. It's just uh, like... I don't, I don't know what to say. Other than it's a, 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 yeah, it's weird being a villager. There's still people wandering around though. Someone got in here. Are you up here in the bedroom? What's going on? There's a bed. Have you got nowhere to sleep? Is that the problem? You've all come up here. <laughs> and you've got nowhere to sleep. Are you, are you arguing over who's getting in the bed? Seriously, guys, look, there's two beds. Can you not get in there? <laughs> For goodness sake, give way. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's bizarre. So there's a loom over here. But there's obviously no bed nearby yet. So the beds all need to be near the workstations then. That's something I'm going to have to keep in mind. Oh, the smoke at night coming out. I don't know where that cat is. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. It seems reasonably successful. Although we've got three people all fighting over three beds up there. Can't all decide where they're going to sleep. It's midnight. Seems okay so far. I'm just going to sit here and wait and see what happens, see what happens next.
So it's slowly becoming daytime. Sun should be coming up now and I'm just going to watch them come out of their beds as the daytime starts and then I personally am going to be coming off the stream. I'm getting quite tired now myself. Don't really know much else to do. This is basically been sort of a, just a bit of experimentation tonight. Explore around a little bit. No real plans. Bit of passing of time. Uh, don't fancy standing over the villagers. Bit creepy. Them lot are all still fighting up there. I think in the bedroom. You have to work out where to put beds and things a little bit more. Haven't got any. Could put little lanterns down on the ground around the paths. That would look quite cool. They look like little roadways rather than having them high up. That could be quite cute. Sun should be coming up now. Any minute now. The cat. Where the pretty cat going? Oh, he's got blue eyes. That's cute. Apparently I can tame them or something with fish, I think. There's the bell. It takes so long for the daytime to come back up. There we go. Sky's changing colour now. It's getting lighter. And I guess any minute now we'll start to see villagers appearing. The cat's now run away up the hill. Sky's going a nice orange colour. The villagers are still sleeping. Come on guys, wake up. No. No movement from anyone yet. So where I build these little farms and stuff, I'm definitely going to have to build houses associated with them really nearby. Work out how all this stuff works. There we go, they seem to have woke up. They're throwing bread around. Yep, here they all come. Seem to have been throwing bread around at each other. Now, do they go back to work? Nope, this guy's just wandering off. Them two are having a chat. Yep, they've gone in there. This guy's bopping around like an idiot. Okay, so it just looks like they potter around and do their work eventually. I don't know where this guy's gone. He's like proper run all the way over here. He's like my apprentice. Oh, some of these trek. Oh, he's actually giving me a, a pricing better to my price. Oh, okay. So he's actually discounting the wheat now from 20 to 19, potatoes from 26 to 25, pumpkins from 6 to 5. So that's interesting. So if I go and get some wheat, I don't know where that guy's going. 
Will you give me a better trade? Um, 18. I need a... need 19, really. Can't quite get enough seeds. Need one more piece of wheat. No, nope, that won't give me it. What about you? You take 20 and beat Root. But your friend over here is offering me a discount if I can get one more piece of wheat. I just really want to try it. I don't know bone meal. I think I'm just going to have to give you a wait. Wait until the crops are grown. So that's me. Thanks very much, guys. I've really enjoyed tonight uh, playing around here. Um... Uh, sorry, I lost the audio there completely. So this is my Indian screen. Thanks very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed uh, tonight. I have, experimenting around. And uh, please come back and see more in the future. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.